Today's feature is Asuna from Sword Art Online, 1-7 scale from Good Smile Company. Hi, I'm Lolo and this is Nostalgia Collection. Let's find out if this collectible is worthy of being part of your collection by combining its overall quality and its ability to spark nostalgia. Subscribe for more collectible features and reviews. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and share it too. Trapped and helpless, Kirito was in need of saving more than ever. Asuna rushes to his rescue to the underworld, an AI-populated war-torn world on the brink of destruction. As Asuna appears, she takes on the form of the Goddess of Creation, Stasia. The story tells of Asuna battling hordes of enemies and super-powered villains with the hope of bringing her love home and saving the underworld from destruction. This figure was released November 2022. It stands 29.5 cm tall and is considered a medium-sized figure. So far, we've seen Asuna the warrior, the wife and mother, the angel, and today, the goddess. As soon as it was announced, I was rushing to pre-order it. There have been stasia versions before, but not like this. The details on this figure are groundbreaking. Every spot is neatly made, and the composition, perfect. As soon as pose is worthy of a deity, calm and collected, capturing her descent from the heavens. The sculpture brilliantly displays the majestic presence of a goddess while elevating her battle readiness. The paint is well blended and really perfect. I didn't see any mispaints and the mix of matte and glossy materials are very accurate. You can almost touch the hard and soft materials of the armor. The ruffles flowing outward while the buckles and metal pieces have texture. The base is a great touch. I love that they decided to have Asuna land on calm water. Very stable. It completes the godly aura. The sword is displayed in full view with all of its grand detail. It has been carefully placed between the head, hair, and hand. You can adjust both hands and sword rotation so that they don't touch the other parts unnecessarily. Brilliant. The hair is one of the most intricate I've seen. There are dozens of strands, and each of them move in a circular direction that's not flat. The face is perfect. I love it that they depicted Asuna as calm and godly rather than struggling in a fight. It looks amazing. I think stocks are still going around, so get yours now. Send us a private message here to find out where to get one of these. With all the personas a waifu can take on, a goddess is yet another one on Asuna's list. This piece takes me back to the headstrong character unwilling to give up on Kirito. The pose takes me back to Stasia's arrival during the war, with Asuna stuck in the real world. Her arrival was a long time coming and I still feel nostalgic about it. The common collected arrival is powerful, along with the entire composition of the figure which gives it epicness without huge movement. Her clothes and hair remind me of the grandeur of Asuna. Not only during the war, but during the time she and Kirito ruled over the underworld together. Her sword proudly displayed. You remember her skill is top notch. Couple that with the power to split the earth and you got yourself a major badass not to be trifled with. Her face, beautiful as always. A reminder of Asuna's strength and determination against all odds and reality. This figure will take you back to Her Majesty, the savior and ruler of the underworld and queen to Kirito, the one and the only Asuna. 
I hereby grant this collectible the rank of Noise. As soon as beauty, power, and character is a magnificent sight to behold as it takes its divine form. Return to the loving arms of Asuna and stay there for the next 200 or even a thousand years. For more nostalgia goodness, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like me to feature some of your favorite figures, let me know in the comment section below.